everyone, it's me again, Miss Courtney. I hope everyone's had a wonderful week this week. Um, let's talk about some of the things we've learned over the last few weeks in this series of who Jesus is. We've learned that Jesus is the Son of God. We've also learned that He served humbly, and we also learned that He gave the gift of the Holy Spirit. Um, today, we're going to be learning about Jesus giving His life on the cross and dying for our sins. It's a pretty big gift, right? So a few weeks ago, we learned about Jesus serving hum humbly by washing his disciples' feet. Well, that was done during the Holy Week, and the Holy Week had different events that led up to the death of Jesus um, or the resurrection or what we also know as Easter. So, Today, we're going to be reading out of John chapter 19, um, verse 1 through 42. So if you want, you can go grab your Bible right now and follow along in John chapter 19, verse 1 through 42. We're going to have someone talk to us today about what happened in those verses. His name is Joseph, and he was in charge of taking care of Jesus's body um, after the death of Jesus. So he was in charge of taking care of Jesus's body, putting it in a tomb and rolling a stone across that tomb and making sure it was safe um, from different things. So let's listen while we hear from what Joseph has to say today. After Jesus and his disciples finished the Passover meal, Jesus and his disciples went to the garden of Gethsemane. He left all but three disciples to go and pray. When he returned, Jesus told the disciples his time had come. It was during this time that Judas betrayed Jesus. Judas led the religious leaders to Jesus where they arrested him. Jesus, what put on trial before Cephas, the high priest in Jerusalem. Cephas was a Jew appointed to be in charge of religious matters by the Roman government. They didn't want to hear the truth and already made up their mind against Jesus and wanted him to be put to death. They took Jesus to Pilate, a Roman governor. After Pilate talked with Jesus, Pilate knew Jesus was innocent. But Jewish leaders turned the crowd against Pilate's wishes and had a guilty man set free instead of Jesus. The soldiers beat Jesus, then put a crown made of thorns on his head. They put a purple robe on him and mocked him as a king of Jews. Jesus had to carry his own wooden cross. When they got to Golgotha, the soldiers laid Jesus' body on the cross and nailed his hands and feet to the cross. While Jesus was on the cross, darkness came across the land. There was no light from the sun. The darkness was a reminder of sin. Jesus cried out for God, his Father, and then he died. Wow. Thank you, Joseph, for sharing your experience with us um, and what you witnessed that day. It sounded intense and really bad, but Jesus knew this had to be done, didn't he? Yes, he did. He willingly gave up his life for you and for me and for Joseph. Um, three days before the resurrection are also known as Easter is called Good Friday, and this is what this means. I know many of us have heard this story several times about Jesus dying on the cross to save our sins, but we need to not remember um, or to remember the importance of this day and how significant it was. Jesus gave us the ultimate sacrifice and really the ultimate gift. He gave us the gift of salvation, and he did that by dying on the cross to save you and I from our sins. Um, Throughout the Bible, we see many examples of Jesus's love, but we I would say that this was the biggest and greatest example of Jesus' love for us. He wants us to be in heaven with him forever, and him dying on the cross to save our sins is the way that we can do that. So just remember that his gift of, his, the salvation is a gift from Jesus that we have to accept, that we have that choice to make whether we want to be in heaven forever with Jesus and God. Um, have you made that choice today? Have you thought about that and what that means? Think about that for a little while. And if you have more questions on what it means to accept the salvation that Jesus has given us, ask somebody you know. Ask an adult, a parent, another fellow Christian or believer that knows more about this. Ask them and have them talk to you about that and pray with you. 
I hope everyone has a wonderful week this week and just um, enjoys the spring weather that we're having. And I just pray that everyone just sees the gift of salvation as we celebrate the Holy Week this week um, and Good Friday and as we celebrate Easter. I just want to finish this out by a quick little prayer so everyone remember how to get into your prayer positions. Bow your heads and close your eyes and let's pray. Dear Lord, I thank you for this day and I thank you for all of your blessings. Lord, let us remember this special week and the special um, things that lead up to Good Friday, Lord, and the remembrance of you dying on the cross to save our sins and then the for you um, coming alive again on Easter, Lord. Lord, we just thank you for all the things you've done for us. In Jesus' name, amen.